will come in Maloko Province Ground also from, from my side. It's really a pleasure to be here directly on the track to tell you some technical detail about 4C. The Alfa Romeo 4C is the result of our passion for impossible challenges. The result of our determination to combine two car design concepts that are simply not compatible. An uncompromising supercar and an accessible dream. The 4C has had these two different sounds right from the beginning of the project. On one hand, the performance of a supercar power to weight ratio of less than 4 kilograms per horsepower. Acceleration time from 0 to 100 in less than 5 seconds. Excellent lap times. Total driving experience. On the other hand, its price to the customer had to be under 60,000 euros. These design requirements determine all of our technical choices. Starting from the most effective way to achieve a power to weight ratio of under 4 kilos per HP, the figures that more than any, any other identifies a true sports car. To achieve it, uh, we, we, we could focus on horsepower, but more power means more performance and also higher purchase and running costs, making the car less affordable. So we decided to take the more challenging road of reducing weight, adding another challenge to the design input, a dry weight under 900 kilos. We also wanted the 4C to deliver unique driving sensation, so excellent aerodynamics became another essential input to its design. In the meantime, the Cento Stile team was defining a stunning silhouette that would play a major role in, in establishing the car's DNA. The balance among its key factors was fundamental in the subsequent development, starting from the design of its architecture. Two seats, rear mounted cluster engine and consequently rear wheel drive forward mounting radiators with underbody air outlets for a perfect weight distribution, 40% on the front and 60% on the rear. Within the architecture deciding, we began our search for material capable of combining lightweight and efficiency. This way, we achieved a total dry weight of just 895 kilos. But now let's have a look at the details with the help of an X-ray camera focus on the chassis. You can clearly see the carbon fiber monocoque. Here, our design work had to focus on, it, on this material before we could come to its application. We use carbon fiber in the form of a woven fabric 2x2 two two twill in weights of 4, 6 or 800 grams per square meters and of unidirectional fibers, UTS and ultra tensile strength impregnated with epoxy resin. The monocoque chassis was produced using a co-curing process to create a monolithic structure without having to glue section together. Though this chassis section weighs only 65 kilograms, it delivers a level of stress resistance and dynamic behavior unachievable with any other technology or material. Again, with weight in mind, we decided to use a low-density variety of SMC with body compound for the body. This material allows us for far greater freedom in developing the style and design we needed to achieve excellent aerodynamics. The airflow around the, and through the car has been designed to minimize the formation of vortices and to guarantee efficient cooling of the engine compartments. 
the result is a CD of 0.33, which paired with a negative lift placed the car at the top of aerodynamic efficiency, comparable to that of car with external wings. Now let's have a uh, let's have a look uh, to the engine. The 4C is powered by Alfa Romeo's new 7052. Our powertrain team gave a fundamental contribution in the war on weight. The 4C engine is made entirely in aluminum and weighs 22 kilograms less than that of the current Giulietta Quadrifoglio Verde. But less weight is, no, is not the only innovation. Vibration has been reduced and engine revs increased from the use of a crankshaft with eight counterweights. To increase performance while reducing oil consumption and emission, the cylinder head in lead ducts have been redesigned. The cylinder liner are made from special thinner cast iron and the piston have new low load rings. In addition, the 4C engine incorporates scavenging technology to maximize the torque at low revs and improve engine response time. High pressure fuel injection 200 bar and new multi oil injector for a more even spray. Two continuous BBT units, one for intake and one for exhaust camshaft and the latest generation turbocharger combined with innovative pulse converter exhaust manifold to boost torque at low revs. And finally, an electric thermostat to reduce warm-up times and emissions. <coughs> All this means a specific torque and power best in class, 200 newton meter per liter and 136 7 HP per liters. 80% of torque is already available at just 1,800 RPM and the maximum power is reached at 6,000 RPM, confirming the impressive flexibility of an engine that can spin up uh, to 6,500 6, RPM. To obtain a faster and more precise selection, a new gear shift control has been installed to the six-speed gearbox. With TCT, dry, dual dry clutch and steering wheel pedal control. What's the result? One, 130 milliseconds in terms of shifting time at 100% of full throttle. All this torque and power, of course, has to be transmitted to the tarmac. Here, a great deal of work has been done to reduce weight of unstrung mass. The 4C is equipped with a double wishbone front suspension with coaxial spring and shock absorber directly secured to the monocoque chassis, a configuration normally used on racing cars. This suspension architecture has also allowed us to give the 4C the typical Alfa Romeo feel based on a rapid but smooth steering response. At the rear we chose a MacPherson configuration. To improve transfer rigidity, we reduce the height of the suspension unit by using a spring with a control axis of thrust and a special shock absorber strictly design. Towing is controlled by a dedicated arm located behind the bottom link. This always keeps the system at exactly the right angle and the 4C therefore responds progressively under the most challenging. To transmit as much torque as possible, to the road and ensure the best possible balance and grip, we adopt larger tire at the rear and smaller one at the front. Even the brake have been designed to maximize performance and minimize weight. The front discs are cast 
are a hybrid design with an aluminum hub and cast iron rotors. But now the time has come to put the handling of a 4C to the test. We have developed a car that is able to adapt to all driving conditions on the track and on the open road. Like all the latest Alfa Romeo, the 4C is equipped with a DNA selector. This device lets you change the car temperature to adapt to the condition of the moment. In fact, if you combine the DNA setting with the gear shift modes, the Alfa Romeo 4C offers offer a total of, different, of seven different performance modes. Natural, automatic and manual for more comfortable everyday use. All weather, again, automatic and manual for greater safety in bad weather and on slippery surface. Dynamic for sports performance on all types of road. And finally, race, a new performance mode specifically designed for 4C to enhance performance and driver's control. Race mode lets you use launch control, a standing start system system. What's the result? 0 to 100 in just 4.5 seconds. But let's see how it works. resistance and give you the feedback you want. The 4C refuses to compromise on steering field too. We wanted no unnecessary system between the driver and the road. That is why the 4C is equipped with a mechanical steering system. The steering ratio 16.2 lets you tackle 90% of bends without taking your hands off the steering wheel. In the more sporting performance modes, the stability control system are calibrated to enhance dynamic and driving pleasure. In other words, you can power slide the rear hand even in dynamic mode, since the electronic stability control system prevents the sliding and danger. ASR is also calibrated to act on the brakes and not the edge. Race mode, on the other hand, minimizes the action of all electronic control systems. EC is virtually disabled and ASR neither reduces engine power nor control the brakes, leaving you completely free to control the car. The Q2 differential control system, on the other hand, remain always active to permit higher exit speeds from curves. To conclude, your impression behind the wheel of the 4C will be determined by acceleration from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds, lateral acceleration peaks in excess of 1.1 G, deceleration peaks of around 1.25 G, and braking from 100 to 0 in just 35 seconds. But again, let's see how it works. During uh, its development, the 4C was tested in all the parts of the world, not just here in Morocco, but as usual at the extreme environmental condition, including the green hill of the Nürburgring, where during the test of the famous North Schleife, 4C already reached a lap time of 8 minutes and 4 seconds, a time well below other sports car with the same mechanical layout but higher power. And for sure, we will not stop. Wherever it went, 4C could rely 
of the skill, experience, and passion of specialist test drivers. Recently, one of the foresee you will be driving here was put through its paces by a very special driver. We recorded its comments in the next video. Professional evidence of pure driving experience. Thank you very much for your attention.